so as you can see for the roots which are repeating twice we have this terms if the roots let's say we have i am taking another example if the roots are repeated thrice that is d equal to 1 d equal to 1 and d equal to 1 in this case it will be c1 plus c2 plus c3 one we will multiply by x then other we will multiply by x square when the roots are repeated four times so this part will become now c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 here we multiply by x then we multiply by x square then we multiply by x cube so this is the generalized form as you can say in our case the roots are repeated twice so we have two constants one constant will be multiplied by x so remember this in a very simple way similarly we have imaginary roots for imaginary roots we have cos and sine but that imaginary roots are repeated twice therefore the constant will be two constants and one constant will be multiplied by x when roots are repeated twice so this is our complementary function after this we need to find yp yp is nothing but 1 upon fd into x what is fd fd is nothing but this part which is d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square so d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square what is x our x is nothing but this part okay so this is our x so x is e raised to x plus e raised to 0 x upon 2 minus cos x upon 2 okay now I am going to multiply this. So this will become d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square. Here we will have e raised to x plus e raised to 0 x and this two will remain as it is d minus 1 the whole square d square plus 1 the whole square minus cos x upon 2. This two will remain as it is and the denominator. So as you can see this is type 1 and this is type 2. So first we are going to consider this part. This part was d minus 1 the whole square and d square plus 1 the whole square e raised to x plus d minus 1 the whole square d square plus 1 the whole square e raised to 0 x. In this term we are going to substitute d equal to a as we used to substitute here the a is 1 and here also we are going to substitute d equal to a here a is 0. So when we substitute d equal to 1, so this will become 1 plus 1 the whole square. 1 plus 1 the whole square is 2 square, so 2 square is 4. And when we substitute 1 here, it will become 1 minus 1, 0. So this part is creating problem and part which is creating problem we keep as it is for now. So this part will remain as it is. Plus when we put d equal to 0 in these two terms, this will be minus 1 the whole square and this will be 1 square. So 1 into 1 will be 1 and into 2, so this will be half, e raised to 0 x is 1. We know that whenever we have d minus a the whole square and when we put d equal to a, it is creating a problem. So then this is given by x raised to r upon r factorial where r is the power of this part. So in our case r is 2, so e raised to x upon 4 will remain as it is and 1 upon d minus 1 the whole square will become x raised to r, r is 2 upon 2 factorial plus half. So this part will become e raised to x into x square and 2 factorial is 2 and 2 into 4 is 8 plus half. So this is the solution for this part. We have solved this part and we got this part as x square e raised to x upon 8 plus half. Now we will consider this part. So we have 1 upon d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square into cos x. So this is the type 2 problem and in this case we used to represent our equation in terms of d square. So this will become d square plus 1 the whole square. We are going to open this bracket that is d minus 1 the whole square is nothing but d square minus 2d plus 1 into cos x. So in this equation we are going to substitute d square equal to minus a square in our case a is 1 so d square we are going to substitute as minus 1 so this part will become minus 1 minus 2d plus 1 and cos x will remain as it is when we put d square equal to minus 1 this term will become minus 1 and plus 1 which will become 0 so this part is creating problem so we keep this part as it is. So here this minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled and here we are remained with 1 upon this 2 I am taking outside so this will be 2 into minus 2 so this will be minus 1 upon 4 into 1 upon d square plus 1 the whole square into 1 upon d cos x.